Hi guys, so today I finally have my drugstore versus high-end makeup tutorial. Um, so this is the look I created and I used um, stuff that I have in my makeup collection that I found very similar and I, I would say that they're dupes. I tried my best to match the colours and if the colours didn't match it was the formula that was very similar. But we'll just jump straight into it and the first thing is brows. I already had them done beforehand as always but I thought I'll add a little clip in. For drugstore I'm using my L'Oreal brow artist expert in ebony and for high end i'm using my bobby brown perfectly defined brow pencil in mahogany they have the same shape kind of and darkness i would say so they're just very similar really next up i'm using my la girl pro concealer for corrector on one side and then my mac Seal Correct Duo in Pure Orange. You don't need much for this one. That's the only difference. And um, for the LA Girl one, you can put quite a bit, but then make for the Mac one, literally you just put a dot and it will blend out as much as you can. So, but in terms of color, they're very similar. Then for foundation, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in Tan for my drugstore one. This is a very dewy, high coverage foundation, and the match is really, really good for me. Um, so I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. And then for high end foundation I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I found that the consistency and the feel of these two foundations is very similar. The coverage is this kind of the same, they both have a really good coverage and they're both kind of dewy so I found that these two are very similar. The Makeup Forever one is a tad bit dark but they're quite similar and I'm in the shade Y445. Then for concealer I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Deep Tan. And then for high end I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. And obviously it's much lighter than my Wet n Wild one but these two are very similar. Like the coverage, the formula, the way it sits, the way it don't crease. They just, they're just like very good but I do have different colours so I can't get a lighter one in the wet and wild one. So yeah, but in terms of formula and wearability, if that's even a word, they're very similar. And I also did go in with the same concealers on each side and carve out my brows and prime my lids as well. They both work really well as eyeshadow primer as well. I'm gonna like repeat as well so many times. But here I'm just using the Tarte one on my high end side. And then for powder I'm using my LA Girl Pro powder for my drugstore one. This is the banana one. Um, even though it's a banana one it has a slight tint, only a slight one. And then for high end I'm using my Kat Von D loose powder. Now on the eyes, I'm using my Certify Eyeshadow Palette for my drugstore side. And then my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette on my high end. Now they are not very like they're not exactly the same but they have a lot of colors that are quite similar so first one i'm using is supreme for my certified palette in my crease i'm just going to blend that out and then i'm going in with imperial i think that's what it's called it's kind of like a deep mauvey brown shade and i'm going that on top of supreme and then i'm going in with majestic which is a deep reddish color i love this color and I'm putting this on the outer V corner and a bit in the crease as well. Then for the mobile lid area, I'm using Noble and I did wet it with um, my primer water. I did also create kind of a cut crease with the brush because it was where it was kind of easy to do that. Now onto the high end side, I'm using the shade Sandalwood in my crease. This is kind of similar to Supreme from the Certify palette. And then going in with Coco, which is similar to Imperial. I hope that's the right shade that I'm saying and I'm just going on top of that just blending it in and then I went in with Man Eater which is exactly the same like deep reddish colour and they're both matte and I went into the outer third and in the crease area as well the um, certified palette is 25 and the Huda Beauty is 56 but I feel like in terms of price they are definitely like the certified is definitely a dupe for Huda Beauty if you want similar colours. Now going in with Moon Dust, I did go and wet it as well um, and tried to create cut crease. I think I kind of failed on that bit but I tried. 
but I also had to go in with a bit of angelic from the Huda Beauty palette just to make it a bit more pinkier because the pale shade from the certified palette had a bit of pink tones in it. Now onto eyeliner, I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner in black and just creating a simple wing. And then for my high end side, I did go in with my uh, The Balm Eyeliner. This is super black and the NYX one is the only one I had that was as black as it. So they're actually really good dupes for each other. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a simple wing. I then brushed up all the excess powder away and the Kat Von D is very similar in terms of formula to the LA Girl one. Now onto mascara, I'm going with my saturated colour volumetric Lust mascara on one side and then the other one is my Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara. They actually have very similar brush heads, it's just that the Bobbi Brown one is a bigger version of the saturated colour one but they give the same finish. And then I'm going in with some eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I went in with the same colours, the first two colours of each palette. Now onto eyeliner for my waterline. I'm going in with my LA Girl Cold Pencil. It's a twisty up one in very black. And then I'm going to use my Urban Decay Velvet Cold Pencil. I'll write the shades down in the info box. But this is my trusty old one. I love this one. And I just apply that on my waterline. And I also did go in with the same mascaras on each side. On my lower lashes now onto bronzer i'm using this bronzer shade from my maybelline master bronze palette i absolutely love this color and it has a slight sheen to it so i'm just applying that and then for my high-end one i'm using my makeup forever pro bronze fusion in 35 i and they are very similar in terms of color tone and like they also have a bit of shimmer to it now we're jumping onto highlight i'm going with my makeup obsession highlight in gold and with a fan brush i'm just gonna apply this look how beautiful it is it's just a pure gold highlight and this was so cheap as well i don't have, have actually any dupes for blushes in terms of high-end and drugstores so i skipped that then onto my high-end high highlighter i went in with my bobby brown bronze glow highlighter which is the same tone same consistency they're just very similar for primer water, I'm going with my Nip and Fab primer water on my drugstore side and Smashbox primer water on my high end side. And now onto lips. <laughs> I struggled on this, but I think I found the good one. So I went in with my NYX lip lingerie in Teddy on one side. That was my drugstore one. And then for my high end, I went with my Huda Beauty liquid matte in Spice Girl. And they're actually very similar. I'm so happy I found something. I struggled to find products that were similar for this video. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of these, let me know. And I'll try to find some more dupes and I'll do another one. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah Ooh, baby What you say? I ain't here to, I ain't here to come and say